Good morning, guys. I thought I'd do an update on everything. Um, the broilers are getting massive. They're doing great. I'm about to let them out for the morning so y'all can see how crazy they are still. They are um, not quite seven weeks old, so they're almost butcher age, but they are still very flexible. Let them... <laughs> he fell over backwards, chicken. <laughs> oh, man. But they are very much doing great. Um, size wise, the white ones have gotten bigger to a point. The, oh, let me rephrase that. The male and females of the white have gotten bigger. Um, of these Red Rangers, the males have gotten bigger than the white males. I mean, look look at this male right here. Let's see. Yeah, that's a is that a rooster right here. Yeah, no, yeah, right here. Look at this one compared to that one, that uh, rainbow red. He is massive, and it's a shame because I was going to keep him, but he's just too big. He'd have problems, and so um, I'm going to end up butchering him out and keeping the other rainbow that's over here. Uh, that red rooster right there is the one that didn't feather out good. He's doing fine now. Um, Where's the other red, rim, rainbow red? Right there. I'm going to keep this rooster here. Hey, move, move. That one right there. And and then probably, I don't know if it's this one right here, but it, he looks like that. I have one that has won me over just on the fact that he's very independent. I'll be out there um, messing with the other chickens on the other side, you know, way out there. Probably out there where the trailer is. We'll be walking out there in a minute. But um, and he'll come out there to me. Um, he's very, um, he'll even put up with the hens, which most of them won't because the hens pick on him. Uh, but he's not the prettiest rooster in my opinion, but I like his uh, independence. Uh, he's willing to go out and find food, and I want to breed that into the babies. And so I'll keep him as my second uh, rooster, um, and then I'll keep six hens. But these are about seven weeks old. I'll start butchering them in a couple weeks. Um, really been pleased with them. Really enjoyed them. Um, I got these from Meyer Hatchery, M-E-Y-E-R Hatchery. They were called Red Rangers and then the White Butcher Chickens. Um, and they've, they've done good by me. That They sure have. And I'm looking forward to getting some more in the spring. <laughs> they eat too fast. It's like they're going, bark, bark, bark. All right. Let's see, everything doing good here. This is a little side pin. If somebody's watching this for the first time, I'll try to do a little bit of overview of everything. This is a little side pin I started the goats in. Um, eventually, this will probably have a hog in it some. Um, I'm going to set up a hog pin. Um, and I'm going to get back in the rabbits pretty soon. I have, I am having withdrawals. Uh, I miss my rabbits. Uh, going to sell a couple of goats, I think. I'll go show you when I show you the goats. Uh, removed the hay out of the pasture. It was in the pasture. The goats have pretty much tried to tear it up. They climb on top of it and sleep. But I'm going to put panels around these three. I'm going to let them have that one out there, but put panels around these where they can't get to them yet. Um, and so uh, save them till later on in the winter. Uh, they're doing a great job cleaning this fence off. Um, I'm hoping by winter time they will have it totally cleared off and I'm going to totally redo this fence by the road. Uh, I have four acres here. It goes down pretty much where you see the brush. Uh, you see those cows, there's the horse, and then there's a corner right there. You see the hay bales. Well, I'll show you that part of it when I go out there. But I have four acres here that I'm, I love, love, love. Grass is doing really good still. I still have about six inches worth of grass, except for where I mowed. Um, everything, I have a, a shelter here for both sides. I made a hole on the other side, and so, this half can go in this side, and the other half can come in the other side. Uh, we're about to have a pretty good uh, cold front come in, though, though, so I'll probably give the goats both sides of that tonight. But there's the 
there's them. Uh, I made this one for them. It's not worked out. I doubt it stays here. This right here, the ground's too low. I mean, it's perfect for them because they just make a mess when they sleep at night. I feed them up there out of the poop. But uh, their water's in there. Uh, their light, I still turn on light at night, so they'll just stay awake and eat some. Um, but it's the location is not perfect. I'll probably move this pin. Uh, but on the other hand, I also have 35 pooping chickens in there. And so if I had fewer chickens, it might not be such a dirty pen. So either way, I'll have to, have to see. Here's my barn. Um, I have four full stalls. I haven't cleaned this one out yet. The previous people had hay in this one. I got to get it cleaned out. Uh, this is the one that I bring the boilers in at night if it gets too cold outside. And so it's pretty dirty. Uh, this is just a junk stall, and this is where I put our trash. That way the dogs don't get it um, before the trash runs. And then this is the other uh, uh, other used stall I use the most. I put the little uh, two girls, I just put them out with the herd, my two little young Bordeaux's. Uh, and before I did that, I put them in here at night so they wouldn't get too cold. Uh, worked on the barn, got it pretty much cleaned up. Got some of the firewood in here, the rest of the firewood's outside. I have a wood burning stove in this barn. It was here when I got here and I'm gonna start it up tomorrow. Like I said, we have a cold front coming through. Um, but uh, I also have my son's birthday party coming up this weekend. So I, I've been doing some cleaning. So if it gets too cold, we can have it in here. Uh, but this barn's 40 by 60. It has a big open area on this side. I'm gonna get in this corner so I can do it. And then it has the stalls and stuff in the back. Um, no complaints. It has a couple leaks in the roof that I eventually got to get fixed. So when it rains, it has a couple leaks. But I'm happy, happy, happy about this barn. I've never had a barn before, and this is this is a great one to have for your first barn. As a lot of y'all would agree. Uh, have an outside refrigerator here that has been wonderful to keep extra stuff. Um, have some of the rabbit cages there that I brought with me. Um, those are on wheels. I have some hay that I just bought for my son so we can do a hay ride. Yeah. But that's what that'll be for. All right, here's the other door. Okay, we'll be breaking ground here pretty soon. Um, this whole thing right here will be a rabbit barn, my rabbit barn. And so I'll be cleaning all this up. This was here when I got here, but I'll be cleaning it up and getting it, getting the frame up and everything. Not sure how far out it'll go, but I want enough that I don't have to build on for a while. Even if I don't have the cages in the protected area, I want it where I can put cages in. But um, so this will be the rabbit barn. This will be another chicken uh, pen when I get it done. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna make this into two pens. I have my I have my hens here, uh, and I'll show you all them in a minute. Um, and I have 10 hens there, and I could put another five in there, which I am when I get them. Uh, it could hold 15 easy. It's a huge pen. Uh, this one, I really don't need one this big. Um, and so what I'll do is I'm going to put another post right here, and I'm going to make two 8 foot by 16 foot. And that way, if I came across something that I really liked, I could I could put it in there. And, um, and on these, I'm going to make them... Uh, good and strong that way I could put an animal I'll probably do the same as I did here and with chain link and that way I can put you know a piglet if I had a piglet it'll be it'll be secure for whatever I want to put in there but that'll be two pins and then the rabbit barn will run off of that here's my 10 girls <coughs> hey girls I laid any eggs yet this morning I was just got this nest box for them uh, in a couple videos just saw about a week ago no I don't want to go out right now you'll have it Lady goes eggs yet. Shh, you yeah, being loud. Let's see if we got any eggs this morning. Oh, yeah, they're already laying. But I get um, uh, between eight and nine eggs a day, which is really good for 10 hens in the winter. But I have to put up with a bunch of noisy, yeah, a bunch of noisy women. Yeah, I do. These are two year old. Uh, Production reds. This is like the 4-H hen. Can y'all be quiet so I can talk for a minute? Uh, production hen. Um, and I am going to put one of those roosters that I'm keeping 
out of that batch of Red Rangers in here with these, and I think that'll be a great cross, but we will only be able to tell in the future. Um, but that's the girls. And I still have to finish theirs. I, where this roost is, which is fine for mild weather, I have to build them some sort of... Um, oh, y'all sorry dogs. Get out of here then. Y'all better be glad the goats aren't in here. They'd be in here messing with your pen. And I have to build them some sort of exit. I think I'm going to do it right there where they can get out without the goats getting in here. The goats are have rain to the whole pasture. Have rain to the whole pasture. And so they like getting in there messing with their stuff. Here's the other part of my property. It goes to that corner like I told you over there where those horses are. And then it wraps around the house here to this right on the other side of the goats here. I have nine goats, one milk goat and uh, six percentage uh, Bordeaux's, uh, two hundred percent Bordeaux's, and a Boar Billy Rocky. Um, I'm thinking that I'll probably be getting rid of Angel, the milk doe, and the reason being is she's a uh, boy hog. She won't let the other does around the buck, um, but they're doing great, uh, doing fine. Right now the grass is still growing. We're supposed to have a hard freeze, and so that'll put it into it. But right now we have beautiful, beautiful weather here. Uh, it's wonderful. But here's the little place. Uh, still have a lot to do, but just going to give you an update of what's been done and what I'm doing. And y'all have a great day. Talk to y'all later.